this is, I think, while I was also, this is like my second or third time meeting, um, or linking up with um, Six Nine. And I remember I'd interviewed him. This is a sequence of events. And that's what I'm saying. Charlemagne was not lying, but I'm not lying either. 6 9 was trolling. I won't say 6 9 was lying. He was trolling. Charlemagne hit me up. He says, yo, check this out. He said, act. And he does this a lot. He does this a lot before. We used to talk a lot. He says, yo, there's these dude. I know you covered this Takashi guy. There's these guys. They say they're like the real scum gang, blah, blah, blah. I'm too old for this shit. I don't understand this new nigga shit. Yo, link up with these guys and 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 whatever, whatever. So he basically, he facilitated the connect for me to be in communication with some guys who say they're scum gang. Now, the scum gang thing, I don't even understand what's going on. And I don't even give a fuck about it, really. But apparently the scum gang thing, like, Takashi screams it before every song. But other people... That's their that's their thing, and they're not cool with Takashi anymore. So they wanted to give their, their their truth and their full story. Now, Charlemagne made that intro to me. He gave me the connect. He linked it up. Whatever, whatever. They were talking to me. We talked on the phone a couple of times. And I said, listen, I'm all about being fair. I said, send me a video clip of whatever you guys explaining that you guys are the scum gang. Whatever, whatever it is, and I'll throw it up because. I've put up this kid screaming scum gang and you guys claim it's yours. I posted their video, whatever, whatever. I, I might have posted one or two. Um, me and Takashi also linked up again. And then he said, he, he said, yo, he said, he said, how'd you get that footage with the scum gang days? I was like, I said, yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas say you're faking. Like I tell them with everything. I'm like, them niggas say you're faking. You're not down with scum gang, blah, blah, blah. And he said, he said, he said, how did you find him? Did they hit you up? And I said, no, my nigga Charlemagne put me in contact with them. You feel me? That's it. That's as much as I said. That's as much as I've ever elaborated on that. I've never talked about that since then. However, I don't know. Uh, number one, he's trolling. But I think in Takashi's mind, he's like, okay, Charlemagne fucks with them rather than me. And it... it let, I'm gonna give y'all another joke. I know a lot of y'all y'all clown Twitch. Some of y'all might be older. Y'all clown Twitch as a platform, especially when I do it, or at least when I do it with hip hop. Cause it's, not, it's a gamer nerd thing. But I, I, I want y'all to look at when I bring on anyone on there, and I'm talking about rappers. And I'm glad I started doing that because it gives you a different perspective. Six Nine comes on all the time. Trippy starting to come on all the time. By the way, Trippy say you're gonna play me for 10 bands in 2K. I'm gonna take that. Trippy comes on all the time. Lil Pump, he comes on. Well, he came on once, but like me and him, we communicate a good amount. Um, who else? X came on. Ugly God comes on. I want y'all to look at the dynamic of when they come onto my platform on Twitch, how it's not confrontational. It, it's kind of like they feel like they're at home. They feel like they're talking to a homie not being interrogated. 6 9 at the Breakfast Club felt like he was in enemy, enemy territory. And that's what I've been saying about most of the new rappers. When they go up to like a Breakfast Club, it's not only Breakfast Club, a Hot 97, they feel like niggas are ready to attack him. They're like, y'all don't really fuck with me. Y'all side with the generation or the the point of view that says I'm, I, sh I, I don't deserve a platform or I don't, I shouldn't be here or whatever, whatever. So y'all just trying to expose me and get clickbait headlines like the Tupac thing. So they're on guard. 6 9 went into that shit on guard. Like, they asked him, was like, how'd you get your, your, your name, Takashi 6 9 What'd he say? He said, fuck that. Let's get into the shits. I know what, I know what y'all want to do. Y'all don't care about my name. I know what y'all want to do. Let's get to it. That's like, that's like really, really off. It's kind of like saying, nah, nigga, I know this ain't no friendly territory. Let's get to it. That's not how you start an interview off. So that's what y'all saw. And then y'all just saw trolling the entire way. It's trolling. I'm glad that that trended. And by the way, I believe it did like two, two, two and a half million in a day. 
because it, it's it's the Breakfast Club main audience is different from my, my main audience. I believe their main audience is much older and they deal with a lot more people that's mainstream. I deal with a lot of people before they become mainstream. And I seen a lot of people like shocked. Like they were like fucking, they, they couldn't, under, the nigga is trolling, bro. The nigga is 100% trolling. And what I mean trolling, I'm not saying he's lying. Does he believe it or try to stand by or that gangster stuff? I don't know about, that's his thing. He really believes that. But in terms of like some of the shit he's saying, like, which it came across as priceless, right? Like, when I think Charmaine was like, yo, yo, let's bring this preacher, you know what I mean, to pray for you. And he was like, he's like, nah, I need to pray for you. You got touched by him. Yo, he's trolling. That's just trolling. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't think anyone has ever had that trolling back and forth banter with him. So I think people online looked at it like, yo, that's just crazy. But it's trolling, bro. Y'all got to understand what trolling is. You feel me? That's, that's what I keep telling y'all. Instagram understands trolling. Twitter don't. On Twitter, they're having think pieces about, oh my God, he said this, he said that. Bruh, that nigga's a clown. Like, in a funny way, he's just like, he's comedic. Did I know? Did I? Did you know that he knew the guys from Texas? No, no, no. I've known that uh, Charlemagne interviewed Aquelio. Are those the guys from Aquelio? I don't know. At first, I thought it was some rap a lot dudes. TMZ identified that it was the Aquelio guys. I had no idea about that. But that interaction between them was funny. You feel me? Again, I watched that whole thing just like laughing. Like, it was super funny. <laughs> Yo, there, there was a part of the exchange. There was a part of the exchange. Bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Don't take none of that interview too serious. There's a part of the interview. But that <laughs> I think it was after the scum game. Y'all couldn't stop laughing. That nigga, um, uh, they started talking about the LAX incident. And, he, and so, so Sean was like, yo, he said, no, those my niggas. <laughs> he said, those my guys. And as soon as he says that, 6 9 says, yo, this nigga is such a troll. He says, he said, those your niggas? The nigga with the butterfly, like, stitches? Blah, blah. And, and then, <laughs> and it's, Show me and I say, yo, I'm, I'm about to call him. As soon as he said the butterfly stitches joint, show me was like, I don't know, I don't know about that nigga. <laughs> That's funny as hell, bro.